And it's so good to have you here. Thank you for having me. This is a book you and I have talked about for a long time. Mm -hmm. It was a long time in coming for you. And you, um, one of the things I found in working with all sorts of people, including um, Charles Krauthammer, Karl Rove, even George W. Bush and Laura Bush, you, you can't just show up with a book and say, Hi, I'm Shannon Bream, the anchor of Fox News at night. You have to go back and explain how did you get here. And sometimes people don't like to go back and write about their childhood. What, what, how was that experience for you? You call your mom, well, your mom called herself the meanest mom in the world. Yeah, yeah, she, she found a plaque at a garage sale that said meanest mom in the world, and she was like, I love it. And I th there was a part about when your dad said there was no sleeping in at the Bream no. household. No, uh-uh, not at all. I assumed he would get out, he would open the door and walk me back up, up to uh -huh. the door and say goodnight. And he just never did. He kept saying, well, I had a good time, and I was okay. <laughs> and he's never getting out, so I'm at some point like, Okay, okay bye. I'm letting myself out of the car. Goodbye. <laughs> Most people, it's just the beginning. What I also would say to young people that are thinking about they want to do journalism or they want to do law, whatever they might want to do, um, having the specialty in law that you have has set you apart mm -hmm. from others. Mm -hmm. And you cover the Supreme Court for Fox News, and there's so many interesting things mm -hmm. happening there. Green is Six O'Clock show that Brett Baer does now. And Britt, uh, unbeknownst to me, was looking for someone to replace Megyn Kelly, who'd covered the Supreme Court, had moved here to New York to do a show, mm -hmm. but he only wanted to talk to lawyers who also happened to be journalists. And so all of the no's I'd gotten along the way and all the tough things led me to that moment where he was looking for that person and I had the right fit and the right background and it all worked together. It certainly did. Um, so tell me a little bit about being an author. So you're a bit, you read books as well. Obviously, you and I talk about that. Um, where did you write this book? Like, where, like, what does it look like for you? Because you're a night owl, and I'm yeah. an early morning person. Yeah. We probably have very different schedules. So I remember the first few chapters when the um, publisher came to me and said, can you write some spec chapters, a few things so we can see where this would go. I did a lot of that on a beach vacation with my parents, and I would just get alone with my laptop and, and you know, sitting outside, smelling the fresh beach air, mm -hmm. and just try to tell a story and write things out. 